Today we are going to go. I am. We're going to go downtown, and we're going to take some photos with the XT4, and we're going to do the Fuji film recipe. So we're going to try it out with my buddy Thomas. We're going to take some photos of him with the with the downtown settings. I'm going to put on the GoPro. We're going to uh, do some time lapse while we get down there, and yeah, time lapse. Here we go. Guess where we are. We're going to do a photo shoot here today and you know see what we can come up with. I just I just wanted something in the backdrop. Maybe we can use this somehow and take some photos of my boy right here, Thomas. So yesterday I went on this site called Fuji X Weekly and then I found some Fuji film recipes. So if you guys don't know what that is, it, I think his name is Richie Roche or something like that. He created the certain uh, look with the Fuji Films uh, sim, uh, film simulation. With, with Fuji Film, you can actually do more tweaking to to the f uh, film simulation, and then that's how you're gonna get your uh, your film stock look. So this guy, he's been creating like all these old film stock looks. I have I never shot film before, so I I'm curious to see what these JPEGs look like. So you can see here. That's Sydney still, Sup Superior, and Portra. I'm gonna try this out, and then we're just going to work work our way around these uh, recipes. So let's go. So I got my XT4 today, and my XT3, and the 50 to 140, the 16 to 55, and I have on the 23 right now. It's getting really cold, so fuck. I'm not ready for the winter here in Toronto. I'm going to shoot JPEG only for today. Thomas is gonna model for me. He has some shoes that he wants to bust out. He wants me to focus on the shoes. So that's what we're gonna do here with this insane backdrop and see what we can come up with. And I'm going to try to get some B-roll and then test out the Fujifilm X-T4's uh, video capability. Yeah, let's get it.
up guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Tung and I hope you guys enjoyed that behind the scenes of that shoot I always forget to do the outro when I'm vlogging because I'm so I'm just so focused on getting the shots and then we were battling against the light so it just takes a lot to talk in front of the camera share your process why you need to get the shots but anyways let's get back on the topic of the Fujifilm recipes. Man, these are so fun to look at. I mostly shot with the Portra 400 recipe throughout the entire shoot, but near the end at night, I shot with the Cinestill 800. So I'm gonna give you my thoughts. I dig it, man. It looks very film-like. I never shot with Portra or Cinestill before, but when I opened up these JPEGs, I honestly thought they looked like they were shot on a film camera. I really liked the colors that I was getting with the Portra uh, film recipes. It was pretty awesome. When you zoom in, you'll see the grain that the Fuji camera has added in and it honestly makes it look more film stock like which is pretty cool. I'm very amazed by what this little cam this camera can do and if you guys don't know Fujifilm has been known for making some best JPEGs out there for your photos. Uh, they are known for their film simulations. It's one of the reasons to get into Fujifilm and if you're, you're a beginner and you don't know anything about shooting raw or processing them or if you're just lazy and you just want to make sure everything looks good in camera, uh, these Fujifilm recipes could help achieve the look you're going for. And honestly, just head on over to uh, FujiXWeekly.com and you'll see all the recipes that the dude uh, Richie has cooked up. This guy's like a mad scientist. He, he made recipes for the old Fuji cameras uh as well as the new one so there are recipes out there for everybody so yeah me and thomas we were on that parking lot just a little bit after sunset we took a lot of pictures of his shoes and with him in them i also added in the moment cinebloom diffusion filter near the end and mixed that in with the portra 400 uh recipe it looks so dope man there's a cinematic uh look to them and those were some of my favorite shots but anyways before i sign off i'm just going to leave you guys with some more photos shot with the fujifilm recipes what do you guys think of the recipes i'm curious to see what uh richie comes up with next this shoot was just so last minute i just wanted to get out and you know be creative again and just shoot something but yeah let me know your thoughts uh, do you guys uh, shoot with the fujifilm recipes what are some recipes uh, uh, you would recommend to me. Honestly, I love it. I think I'm going to try to shoot with more uh, Fujifilm recipes and explore that side of the Fujifilm community. So if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And yeah, that's it for me. My name is Tang, and I'll see you guys in the next video. I love you. Okay, bye. Ooh, gold. That's a good one. That's a good take. I don't need to do this anymore. Oops. Appreciate your sound, need to bring the patient.